another glorious day as Spider-Man. Still not used to calling myself that. Huh. I know it's usually an exaggeration to say someone's life changed overnight, but with me, it's actually true. And it all started a few weeks ago, right down there. Oscorp Industries, the world's premier chemical research facility. See, my class was on a field trip. <laughs> Name? Peter Parker. Uh, P is in phosphorus, E is an electron, T okay, is in... Okay, okay, you're on the list. Just wear this at all times. Wow, my own Oscorp identification badge. I'm like science agent double helix seven. You're also like freaking me out. Well, that's Harry Osborne. He's my best friend. This is the first year we're not in the same school together because he recently got into a school for geniuses, Horizon High. But he's here today because, get this, his dad owns this place. Harry, how are you not bursting at the seams? You're a science geek. We're about to see some of the world's most advanced equipment. It's my dad's company, Pete. It's like if we went on a field trip to visit your Aunt May at a knitting factory. Huh. I didn't do it! Remain calm. Remain calm. Containment breach. Is it a reactor meltdown? Gamma radiation? Asgardian interference? Some experimental spiders have escaped. You're in no danger. We're collecting them as we speak. Spiders? And here I thought we had something to worry about. Parker! Huh? Can you please stay out of oh, trouble? I'm sorry, Mr. Smythe. Harry, I thought Midtown High was rid of you. But if you insist on chaperoning us, please pair up with my son, Alistair. Peter's field trip partner is Liz Allen. Liz, keep a leash on Parker, will you? Our tour is about to begin. Yes, sir. <sighs> Welcome, everyone, to Oscorp Industries, the world's premier chemical, chemical research, research facility and electronics, electronics manufacturer. manufacturer. Sorry. That's okay. I expect you're all as excited as this young man here to get to use such state-of-the-art technology. But don't let the fancy equipment fool you, because if you're a true scientist, you can solve any problem with this. Using the five steps of the scientific method, which are, of course, observation, hypothesis... Prediction, experimentation, and conclusion. <sighs> Sorry. Mr. Parker, another outburst from you and I'll kick you to the moon. Well, scientifically speaking, Mr. Smythe, that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough, Mr. Osborne. I'd say the only thing that unsettles a scientist is something called chance. When a situation has no scientific rhyme or reason. So... Who's going to be the first to examine our new robot? Perry, how about you and your partner? That's when a series of unique circumstances. Why don't you let Pete's group go first? He's really into this stuff. Awesome! Line up so perfectly that the outcome? Wait, I'm a lefty. Switch with me. Is an event of unusual magnitude. Okay, Pete? I don't know. Where's the... Down the hall to the right. No, wait. I think that one's under construction. Huh? What in the world's happening to me? things before no big deal there was that summer you were bitten by that dog and I know at least a thousand mosquitoes have taken a nibble so this is probably no different right hmm? huh? ah! Pete 
in here, buddy? Eat? Hmm. Oh, I've got to get out of here. You'd think I'd share something this big with my best friend Harry, but my head was spinning and I felt like I needed to understand it myself first. Okay, focus, Pete. You can do this. This is just a problem like any other, right? Now, how would a scientist go about solving this? Right! The five steps of the scientific method! Thank you, Madame Curie. And those steps are observation, hypothesis, prediction, experimentation, and conclusion. No, Mr. Nobel. Panic is not one of the steps. That's something I added on my own. You're right. Stick with the basics. Step one, observation. I have observed that I seem to have the powers of a spider, presumably given to me by one of the experimental spiders that got loose at Oscorp. Wait, what's happening? It feels like my entire body's covered in goosebumps. And they're all telling me to... Jump! Kid, how's it doing that? Uh oh, can't deal with this now. Observations indicate that I have a spider's sense and a spider's stickiness. Whoa, I could never do this before. This could totally come in handy. Do I also have a spider's strength? In class, we learned that spiders can lift 173 times their own weight. Hey guys, huh? look at this. Huh? Somebody hand me my phone. Huh? And have you get a million hits thanks to me? I don't think so, lady. And that's a big yes for the super strength. Because this just got awesome. Think fast. If you could gain the powers of any creature in the world, what would it be? Not so easy, huh? Well, statistically speaking, the odds are 147 to 1 that you would choose a spider. But guess what? Its powers are amazing. This is Peter Parker, applying the five steps of the scientific method to, well, to whatever it is that's happening to me since being bitten by that spider. I've already observed the effects of the spider bite. So now it comes to step number two, hypothesis. That's a suggested solution for an unexplained occurrence. So I hypothesize that I'll be able to embrace these powers in order to use them to my advantage. A spider has sensors all over its body that alert it to danger. I'm getting better at feeling them. I call it my spider sense. Spiders spin webs. Huh. Well, not so much for me. But that seems like something I can create in my lab. Uh -huh. The composition of a spider's web is made up of liquid protein that hardens the more it's stretched. <laughs> spiders have an easy time making webs. I'm gonna have to work on that. Okay, I think I worked out all the kinks. Now, if they only just told time and played music, I could make a fortune. But can a watch do this? I think not. Touchdown! Or whatever it is you call it in baseball. Yes. Sorry! Wow, I can make virtually anything. Let's start with something simple. Yeah. <sighs> nice and comfy. Oh. 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 <laughs> My own pair of web boxing gloves. <laughs> Still comfy? Okay, stay focused, Pete. Something useful. These are a spider's main source of nutrition. Come on. Now I've got you. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Now the real test. Can my webs support me? And since I don't want anyone seeing Peter Parker falling flat on the sidewalk, I can't believe I'm doing this on purpose. Okay, here goes nothing. They work! I am definitely getting the hang of this! Whoa! 
Control one, marker zero. Hello, world. My name is Peter Parker, but you might know me as... Webface. Well, that doesn't sound right. You might know me as... Bug Boy? Too cutesy. Daddy Long Legs. I'm not tall enough. I wish there were five steps for coming up with a good name. Right now, I'm focused on the five steps of the scientific method. It's what I'm using to assess what's happened to me, and I'm up to step three. Prediction. You there. Come over and let me tell your future. Sorry, lady. I don't believe in all that hocus-pocus. I'm a scientist. Really? Because I see fame and fortune in your future. Really? Tell me more. Come now. Let me read your palm. Sorry, that happens to me a lot. I take it you're an entertainer. That's what I was thinking. I mean, with all the things I can do, I'm sure I could be a household name. I'm charming, quick-witted, and I can do whatever a spider can. Can you get me out of this web? Everything but that. I'm not actually sure how long the webs last yet, so... Huh? Ah, ah, ah. Make that an hour. The webs dissolve in an hour. I gotta go. Sorry. And thanks! Hey, you owe me ten dollars! <laughs> Fame and fortune. I knew that spider bite would lead to big things. But if I'm going to be in the limelight, I'm gonna need something better than a web mask. I'm gonna need a whole costume. Ugh, something to get the webbing out of my nose. Hmm. What to wear? There's gotta be something in here I can use. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Homemade Iron Man. Too Halloweeny. Uh, Ta da! Uh, too obvious. Mm, too much. Not bad. Thank goodness I have the resources. Have you seen my blue tights? I think they're called sweats, Aunt May. No, I haven't. Okay, how should I kickstart this career of mine? Audition for a movie? Post a video on the internet? Host a kid show? So many options. But something tells me I'll know it when I see it. Nope, I got nothing. Wrestling, that's it! The perfect place to try out step four of the scientific method. Experimentation. Welcome everyone to another episode of So You Want to Be a Wrestler. The show where non-professionals get a chance to compete against actual wrestlers. This week our judges have discovered quite an interesting fellow. He calls himself the Spider. But does he have the moves to prove it? Let's take a look. I don't know if you know this, but spiders are incredibly strong and have been known to live in every habitat known to man, aside from the sea and air, of course. Commonly mislabeled as insects, spiders are actually from the arachnida class, which- Can you just show us what you can do? Huh? Oh yeah, sure. Well, if there's such a thing as a spider nerd, I think we might have just met one. <laughs> But he might be an endangered species soon, because today he's going up against our champion, Bonesaw McGee! I don't know who that is. Is he good? I really just recently got into this whole wrestling thing. Is he good? Take a look. camera with his face and now it's the moment we've all been waiting for the main event what's going through your mind right now honestly the five steps of the scientific method I'm up to step number four experimentation I'm hoping this little wrestling stint will help me come up with the fifth step which I meant regarding the wrestling match oh uh, are there timeouts 
Hey, stop that guy! He broke it without clearance! Whoa, Out of my way, man! Not my problem. <sighs> hey, Spider, you're on. Thanks for nothing. Sorry. I gotta save my moves for the judges. And my smile for the fans. Seems there was a little bit of commotion back there. But now there's a lot of commotion up here, cause here comes Bonesaw McGee! Where is he? Where's the spider? I'm gonna turn his 15 minutes of fame into 15 broken bones. How long do I have to fight him? Just until the commercial. I don't think I've ever looked forward to a commercial so much in my... Oh, Spider said... Ow! A chair? I don't think that's... <laughs> like a bug splattered on a windshield. Well, if chairs are allowed, then I guess webs are too! <laughs> You'll find webs, right? I heard you were down to earth! It's over, insect! Fight me like a man! Oh, I am! A spider! Man! I think Bones saw stars with that one. I'll show you stars! Let's try a little ricochet wrestler. Got enough back and forth? Touchdown! Looks like we have a new champion. How do you feel? I'm just glad it's over. What do I win? A year-long tour of being our number one wrestler. And this trophy. <sighs> so much for the fortune part. Hey, Spider, give me a good pose. Cause you're gonna remember this day for the rest of your life. This is the first sports trophy I ever got. Granted, it was awarded to the Spider, but that's because I won it putting my new powers to use as a masked wrestler. The trophy is made up of three different kinds of metal and two different dioxides. I know that because I'm really into science, a subject my Uncle Ben encouraged me to pursue. He would have been proud of this trophy, but he'll never get a chance to see it. Because you know what else is made up of three different kinds of metal? That's what ended my uncle's life when he surprised a burglar earlier tonight. you, Uncle Ben, you'd say to look for the lesson in all of this. Because that's the kind of stuff you were made of. But now I'm too angry to feel that way. So now it's time to find out what I'm made of. The cops said the burglar is holed up in this warehouse. They also said to let them handle it. Huh? What are you supposed to be? Payback. I don't think so. You're coming with me! Don't hurt me! Are you making a request? I'm quoting someone else from tonight. I didn't mean to... Save your excuses! All I want to hear is your screams! Huh? That face. I remember that face. Stop that guy! He broke it without clearance! Out of my way, man! Come on. Thanks for nothing. nothing. And I smile for the fans. Spider! 
spider thing! The burglar went to prison, of course, and got 25 years to life. But I got something that night, too. A greater understanding of what matters in this world. People like Uncle Ben can never be replaced. But the things they stood for can be carried on through our beliefs and through our work. Since being bitten by that spider at Oscorp, I've observed the changes within myself, hypothesized that I'd be able to embrace them, predicted the role I'd play in society, and experimented how best to use these powers. Now for my conclusion, and that is this. They're not to be taken lightly. I've been given a gift of great power. My Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes great responsibility. I don't think I truly understood what he meant until that night. But in order to live up to that motto, I need to become something more than a celebrity. I need to become a symbol. A beacon of hope. I need to become a hero. I'm not saying it's been easy, but it's how I've made sense of what's happened to me. And I'm sure it's what Uncle Ben would have wanted. So, the next time you see me swinging by your window, know that although I've been called many things, a menace. Amazing, spectacular, sensational. You'll know me best as Spider-Man. <laughs>